Hello my dear friends, you are on the military summary channel. In this short video we are going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous nights of the local time. The Russian sources are saying that as a result of fierce fightings for Pitihatki, they, will, they were forced to leave this settlement during the previous days uh, towards more reliable positions in the settlements like Zheribyanki and in the forest lines on the south, on the east, on the northeast of that settlement. So basically, the current defense line of the Russians uh, in defense belt of the Russians in this area looks like this. But uh, anyway, the Ukrainians neither were able to uh, save control over this settlement and the Russians report that during the previous night of the local night of the local time the Ukrainians were forced to step back from this settlement towards more reliable positions on the north so basically the Ukrainians left uh, some infantry forces some troops in the forest in the forest on the uh, west of that settlement so basically uh, during the previous day they managed to establish some fortifications no matter the Russian attacks using the art uh, heavy artillery systems also the Ukrainians left to the north of that settlement in in this small farm on the north and of course main the main Ukrainian forces are located in Lapkova where the Russians can't have don't have possibilities to attack using the heavy artillery systems because of the big distance to the Ukrainian positions anyway this is a normal practice normal situation for any army the Ukrainians using these tactics regularly First, they attack the Russian positions, and the first uh, the thing they they want to get is to force the Russians to leave the settlement. We saw the same tactics on the Vremevka tactical bridge during the uh, first days of strong operation. The Russians left Niskuchna, the Russians left uh, uh, the settlements like uh, on the Vremevka bridgehead, uh, but the Ukrainians neither uh, like uh, saved control over them. They left those settlements before the night came, and after that, during the few days of strong operation, they finally managed to establish control so currently we see the same picture the Ukrainians need another few days to secure the bridge hat and to increase the bridge hat around the settlement and only after that they will start attacking the Russian positions on other front lines or the Russians will try or will make some kind of counter offensive operation and will push the Ukrainians back if you ask my opinion I don't think that the Ukrainians are going the Russians are going to return control over the settlements the thing is that they don't need these settlements because these settlements have already been re reduced to ruins and uh, for them it's much more better uh, to uh, stop the Ukrainians on the next defense belt on the more reliable positions and those positions that haven't been destroyed or reduced till ruins under the Ukrainian fire so I, I don't expect the Russian greatest counteroffensive in this area but who knows we'll see uh, furthermore now we are moving to Arecho front lines this morning after the very after the calm night the Ukrainians launched made another arc currently are making another attempt to attack the Russian positions as usually using the same roads the same directions of attack uh, nothing new we've s we are seeing on this front line the Ukrainians attacks in direction of Robotina Novopakrovka in few hours I believe we are going to receive more videos and more updates about the number level of loss of the Ukrainian side and um, that's it about Arecha Frontline. Very interesting updates are coming from uh, Vremevka tactical bridgehead. During the previous night, the Ukrainians made massive assault, massive storm operation in direction of Novodonetsk. The Ukrainians were attacking these settlements from many sides, from the west, uh, from the north, trying from the, to attack this settlement from the uh, um, south, west, and so on. All those attacks were repelled. Uh, the Russians sent a significant number of reserves from Novomorsk Mayorska in that direction after very fierce fightings and settlement the Russians published the video how their storm squads uh, were making some kind of counter-offensive operation as a result of fierce fightings in that area the Ukrainians were defeated and were forced to step back this video was published by official um, the telegram channel of Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation. So basically on this video they're saying that they're showing the process of uh, counter-offensive operation in the vicinity of Novodonetsk. That was the information from official sources. Unofficial sources reported and shown video how the Russian soldiers in, on the Vremevka tactical bridgehead were inspecting the armored vehicles that Ukrainians left during the battle of Novodonetsk during the previous night. The 
Russians are saying that Ukrainians were forced to leave around 50 units of different Western types of weapon. Either France um, uh, tanks, AMX, uh, uh, either probably Leopards and different types of armored vehicles. Imagine yourself that there were very heavy clashes, very fierce fightings in the vicinity of the settlement during the previous night. And the Ukrainians were forced as a result of that battle to drop on the battlefields around 50 units of different types of armored vehicles of Western countries. So that was significant defeat in the vicinity of that settlement and maybe there is a very high chances that uh, the Russians will try to develop their offensive operation in that area because basically the situation is that the this flank the eastern flank of Rimovka tactical bridge hand was weakened by the russians uh because like 50 units is a very big amount of forces and the russians do have possibilities to attack to continue advancing to the north in direction of um, niskuchna along this river and to attack in the flanks to the positions of 37th marine brigade and force tank brigade we'll see whether the russians are planning to do this or not this the upcoming day is going to give us the answer to this question. Now we are moving to mining and today we received during the previous day 24 hours, 12 hours we got a lot of interesting updates from this territory as well. Uh, the first uh, update is coming from the from the fields between settlement Pabeda and Nova uh, Mikhailovka. These two settlements are under control under protection responsibilities of 79th Air Assault Brigade and 109th Territory Defense Brigade and probably 76 second mechanized brigade so all these forest lines between these two settlements um, is a very big network of ukrainian trenches and fortifications and it's a very big big problem for the russians to conquer them to get as close as possible to mikhailovka but we see that the russians are moving in this direction and today we got the first video the first confirmation that the russians started using very interesting tactics and um, the russians brought significant number of very old vehicles to the combat line to the front line of course a lot of those vehicles were captured from the ukrainian side on this video for example you might see how the russians have sent the tank this is in the bottom of the video a tank that were going uh, to the forest line and at some point this tank got on the mine fields and the mines and the tank was destroyed and the tank stopped and he couldn't move further so right in front of ukrainian positions and and the question is what the russians were planning to do uh later the ukrainians from their side from trenches there i believe they understand understood that there was some kind of trap from the russian side they're using the some kind of um, parts uh, try took a decision to destroy this tank using missile or rocket and right in the second uh, as soon as they took a decision to do this the tank this tank let's a uh, little bit uh, go further the tank was exploded the tank exploded with a very heavy uh, like explosion you see this so last one one more time let's go back so uh, now we'll see you see this line and so that was some kind of shahed mobile if you remember the the terrorists uh, in igil in syria uh, isis in syria were using the same tactics sending the shahed mobiles to attack uh, syrian forces fortifications and basically the russians took a decision to use the same tactic to attack the ukrainian fortification and minefields using uh, shahed uh, tank shahed mobiles or house something like this anyway anyway as you can see the ukrainians managed to destroy that tank on the distance but the the sources are saying that later and probably as a result of uh, another more attempts to storm this defense line the russians managed to capture this territory and basically the current this is the current situation on, on this front line but we haven't received any photo video confirmation of that so let's keep this bridgehead as is uh, we need to see get more confirmation of that progress also, the Russians reported that the squads of Storm Z units, uh, it's like uh, Shoigu's uh, uh, forces, uh, who is under control of the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation, managed finally to establish control over these uh, farms on the northern part of Marinka. And the Russians are saying that those uh, for those uh, farms couldn't uh, the like Ahmad special unit, neither Ahmad special unit, neither Russian forces could uh, couldn't establish control over those farms and the storm 
Storm Z squads, it's the ex prisoners, uh, did that during the previous 12 hours, and probably the northern part of Marinka has been captured by the Russians, and now they are able to focus their attack against the supply roads that goes to the west and southwestern part of Marinka. Anyway, the Russians are saying that that was a significant progress that will ease the, the further developments in that settlement. And that's it for this uh, short video. Military summer channel reminds to condemn any violence in the world. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes, join my Patreon, and have a good day. Bye bye.